Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today I've just got a quick video showing how I dose my Coral Essentials range. So for those who don't know, um, I've been dosing the Coral Essentials range pretty much since it um, first came out. Um, uh, I get along with the guys Rick and Christian at um, Coral Essentials really well and they make a really good product um, out of Cairns, Australia and uh, most importantly their trace elements and their black label and their aminos and grow actually give your corals really good colour and really good growth. So um, uh, they developed it at their um, coral farm and they built it themselves um, to enhance the coloration and uh, growth of their corals that they then sell around the world um, and for me if they're growing corals to if they're developing products to make their corals look as good as they can and grow as quickly as they can, it's good enough for their farm, it's good enough for me and um, ever since using it, um, I have to say the products have uh, spoken for themselves. So I've been using their product for a couple of years now and um, I often get asked how I dose it. I picked up this neat little uh, fridge caddy because most of the Coral Essentials products, particularly their um, black label, um, the, the juice as it's uh, commonly called, um, needs to be refrigerated after opening and I find it easier just to have a little caddy to carry it all, keep it in the fridge, goes up in like one of the ice trays up there in the fridge and um, is <laughs> out of the way and um, keeps nice and cool. I dose all my products in the morning, um, I do it manually by drops, um, most, of them, most of the products are one drop per 100 litres. Um, I do ICP testing frequently on my tank and by frequently I mean every four to six months um, just to see where my parameters are at. Uh, particularly with the trace elements, and one of these, uh, trace A I believe it is, I've got a little note on here to do 12 drops of this instead of the usual 8 drops because uh, trace A contains strontium and my strontium levels have been a bit low so I've just upped the dose of that by 50% and in a couple of months I'll do another uh, ICP test and see where my um, where my strontium levels are and see whether they can come back to 8 drops or 10 drops or something like that. So I'm a little bit late this morning, the lights are already on. Ideally I'll do this before the lights are on in the morning, but um, it'll be okay. Probably lose a little bit of effectiveness with a couple of the um, trace elements that do get uh, chewed up by some of the blue spectrum. And obviously we're pretty heavy in the blue spectrum at the moment, but so be it. Um, but yeah, basically I go straight into the tank in a high flow area and then um, we'll get some footage of that and show you how it goes. Okay, so here we go. I take the uh, range with me and uh, I just drop it straight into the tank in a high flow area. Um, I do one product after another. Um, they don't uh, mix or anything like that. And I mean, if you're doing that, their alkalinity and calcium, you'd obviously need to separate those a little bit. But um, with calcium reactors, I, I do that separately anyway. Um, their black label and their um, aminos and trace um, can all go on at the same time. So that's fine. You can see the um, chroma there. It looks like a highlighter going into the tank. That really brings out some colors in your corals. Um, I guess I should cover what of their range I run because I don't run all of it. Um, that being said, I run a fair few of the bottles, as you'll see from the um, caddy. I run their um, Trace A, B, and C. I run their Grow and Amino. I run their uh, Potassium Iodide, which is a Ki3. And I run uh, Boron and Bromide um, Trace Elements. Um, add to that the three uh, Black Label, their Chroma, Vibrance, and Energy. Um, that's the range I run. I haven't always run the um, Ki3, but uh, my Potassium and Iodide were getting a little bit low, so I've added that to the mix. I do that every second or third day. Um, and the boron and bromide, I don't dose the full amount. I'm only dosing half strength of that. Um, and as mentioned at the moment with uh, trace, uh, I think it was C, whichever one has a strontium, I'm doing a um, one and a half dose of that at the moment to bring my strontium up. So um, yeah, this is the routine every morning. Um, it, uh, <laughs> it happens pretty quickly. It's part of my sanity check before I leave um, out the door for work each day. So uh, getting into trace element dosing is um, something that's really for the advanced reefer and I recommend you do um, an ICP or at least a high quality round of testing before um, adding some of these heavy metals and other elements to your tank. Once you've got a bit of a baseline as to where your tank is at, you can jump on things like uh, the Coral Essentials website and they'll walk you through how many drops per day or per 100 litres of your tank you should be adding to try and get those elements up to where they should be. Um, they've got that for low stock, hot, medium stocked and high stocked tanks. But of course, if you have a specific question, you can jump on their uh, Facebook support group. A quick mention, I'm one of the moderators there, so I'm, I can personally guarantee you'll get a high quality answer. But uh, probably more importantly, the owners of, or the inventors of uh, Coral Essentials are administrators on this group. Um, and I barely ever see Christian leave a question go unanswered uh, for more than a couple of hours. So you could ask something ultra specific about a um, 
type of deep water acropora you have that uh, its base color is great but the coralites are losing a bit of vibrance um, what do you recommend um, as a trace element to go chasing to try and fix that up some super super specific really um, interesting information going on in this site so i highly recommend um, if you're looking at trace element dosing to jump on this support group and um, just have a look at the types of conversations going on it's um, a real learning uh, opportunity so that's it from me on uh, the trace element and uh, amino program i run on my tank um, as you can see from the uh, footage here it's it's been working well for me so um, if you're interested in um, giving a, an australian company a shot um, that produce some high quality products be sure to jump on the Goral Essential support group have a look at their products um, get some testimonials from people using their products and most importantly ask any questions you've got um, things can go wrong dosing trace elements so make sure you um, take it slow and um, make sure you know what you're doing and um, yeah enjoy your reefing thanks all for watching cheers